We have. How great is that? So we've gone from elephants, the largest mammal, then we went down to the smallest carnivore in the area, and now, like Byron said, the tallest. And it is a beautiful giraffe bull, and we've been seeing him sort of on and off now for the last couple of days between this, this fella and then, of course, our one-eyed friend who roams around near Voyatella Dam occasionally. He's not doing too much. I think he's also just enjoying the morning sun. You can see he's actually got his back facing that lovely warm light, and I don't really blame him. He's got a lot of body to try and warm up. Even the oxpeckers are just sitting there quite close to his wither and just trying to keep nice and warm. They don't really seem to be doing too much feeding either. Now, one thing that I love about giraffe and, and the animals out here is how tough their skin actually is. Because if you and I, were to, even with all our clothes on, were to walk straight through some of these thickets, we would be completely sort of less, well, we have huge lacerations on us from all the different types of thorns. But before I go on to that, how amazing is the pattern that that oxpecker was making in the giraffe's hair? How it scissors through, that's actually a really nice demonstration of how an oxpecker uses its bill. See if the other one is perhaps warmed up yet. Maybe it's going to demonstrate for us. Would you like to show us how you get the tick larvae and ticks out of the mane before I continue about the skin of animals? No? No, not quite ready to wake up just yet. Right, anyway, so what I was saying is that obviously elephants, buffalo, rhinos, they've all got fairly thick skin, even hippos to an extent, though their epidermis, is their first layer of skin is actually quite sensitive because we see they get massive cuts all the time. However, it's the complete opposite of the giraffe. A giraffe has also got very, very thick skin, and it's important that they do have this because essentially their skin acts as a compression sock to try and help with, of course, their very high blood pressure and to keep everything where it needs to be. So I find that that's so amazing. Remember, a giraffe can pump over 60 liters of blood in a minute, which I think is amazing. So very, very powerful hearts. But how is that? It's almost like a nest. Don't you think that that oxpecker is sitting in? So, of course, just the giraffe's mane, but I love the way that it sort of nestled itself in there quite nicely. It looks like this giraffe could do with a brush through his mane too. Now he's looking around, and there's a go-away bird sort of shouting half-heartedly, as I'm sure you've heard. We're competing, obviously, to talk. A go-away bird thinks you can speak louder than me. Ha, ha, ha. Hey, I'll show you, go-away bird. <laughs> and look at this giraffe. is like, right, I'm in. I'm ready to watch this com competition. I will be the judge. But I'm, I'm just going to stay here because... He keeps also looking down into the distance, into the drainage lines, and, and we all know that giraffe have got magnificent eyesight. So I wonder what's got his attention. Hey, big boy? He's beautiful, though. Isn't he gorgeous? What we might do is go around the corner to see what he's staring at. Now, Augusta, you're wondering how tall are the baby giraffe? Well, can you believe this, Augusta, that uh, when a giraffe is born, it's taller than the average man. It can stand at 1.8 meters high. How amazing is that? So almost six foot. I think that that is a six foot, 1.8 meters? Sounds like six, it's sounds like six foot, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Vic. <laughs> so yeah, so pretty tall uh, for an animal, even when they're small. I look up to a giraffe, and, I, and I've told the story before where I've had the opportunity to be around two juvenile giraffes that were just shy of a year. I think one was about six months and the other was about eight months, and I had to look up to them. They were way taller than what I am, and I'm not the shortest person either. I'm at 1 meter 7 to 1.72, 172 centimeters. I should have just said that here. So I think I'm 5 foot 6, somewhere around there. So not too short, but even even a, a baby giraffe makes me get a sore neck. What are you looking at? It looks like he's looking down into the grass. I don't know what it's seen. Maybe there's a couple of Franklins moving around. You're very inquisitive today, aren't you, giraffe? And it looks as though you're listening to my every word. Is there anything you would like to tell the viewers? Would you like to show us how you've actually just been pretending to be quiet your entire life and you can actually make all sorts of noises? No, but of course that's not true. We were chatting the other day. Giraffe, unfortunately, lack of the vocal cords to produce a lot of sounds, so they make very basic sounds. But who needs to talk when you're that tall and you can see the other members of your species over the tops of the trees? I think it's sort of a great um, technique. Survival technique out in the bush is being quiet. 
that is gorgeous. But the concentration that is coming off of this giraffe, I mean, I, f I feel as though I need to focus now too. It's amazing. How's that stare? Where are you off to now? Down. He's going to disappear. Off into the distance. I'm sure you're going to feed on some of the lovely leaves, nice acacias. There's a couple of bush willows that I think everyone's eating at the moment. We've been seeing a lot of the animals. Plenty of buffalo thorn. So there's a buffet of trees for this giraffe to choose from. Which one are you going to choose next? But not eating at the moment, just taking a time out, not even ruminating just this moment. Right, let's carry on. I want to go around the corner and see what was sort of uh, going on with the go-away birds. So not just this one go-away bird that we'll try and have a look at if I can find it. I'm sure it's sitting up just on the top of the tree. Let's... Whew. Insect. Let's see very quickly if we can find one. There was someone that was looking for a go-away bird yesterday morning. I've forgotten now who exactly wanted to see one. Nope. It seems as though all those go-away go birds have now flown away to go and annoy somebody else. We're going to send you across to Byron who's just...